The early bird catches the worm. Different groups are in a haste to grab a slot in the next government. Today was the youth turn through their caucus dubbed Youth Agenda, who held a meeting to scrutinize how their agenda has been addressed in the various presidential candidates' manifestos. The reason we have been engaging in this exercise is to ensure that whoever wins has our interest. And whether they had it initially, our objective is to make sure that they we communicate to them that this is the position of the youth in this country and this is what we want captured. The caucus says among us the issues it wants addressed include unemployment, being part of policy makers, equality, tapping and nurturing talents and specific policies for youth. The caucus leader Susan Mwangela nevertheless expressed her disappointment following failure by some candidates to put public their manifestos. Regrettably, uh, very few candidates have responded to these questions from the youth and have subsequently evaded from, uh, from appearing in platforms uh, provided for them to come and share the agendas of youth. Having revised their manifestos to ascertain if their agenda has been catered for, only four did, including Uhuru Kenyatta from the Jubilee Party, Raila Odinga from NASA, Ekuru Okot from the Third Way Alliance, and Michael Waginaina, who is an independent candidate. The caucus further reveals of the eight presidential candidate manifestos, only Jubilee, Third Way Alliance, and independent candidate Michael Wainaina address youth business empowerment, with NASA being unclear. Following this, to be on the safe records with the forthcoming government, they have laid bare their grievances. What impact do you expect? And gubernatorial candidates must take youth interests very seriously and commit to outrightly engage and include youth in their mainstream administration to have them be part of the formula, uh, policy formulators, implementers, so that young people can dis determine their own destiny. We also uh, suggest that presidential and gubernatorial candidates must commit to specific key appointments that they will set aside for the youth in their administration. Blanket commitment, in our view, do not sell because it, is, uh, it will be uh, hard to hold them to account. Going by the election history, the caucus had a warning for candidates against using youth for selfish gains. The benefit of our electoral history, all presidential candidates commit not to incite, influence, use or signal the youth supporters to violence or related activities before, during and after election. Alan Ochanda for Ebru TV.